Neil here and welcome back to a bit of deep learning in Keras where we learn just a teeny tiny bit of deep learning and a whole lot of Keras. Um, today we're going to be talking about, <laughs> sorry, it's just, uh, today we're going to be talking about the nitty gritty parts of models, including the optimizers, the losses, and the metrics. So if you guys remember the compilation of the models, this is, this is all the goodies that are involved with that. So it's pretty important, so I hope you guys stay tuned. So. Let's get into it. Okay, uh, usage of optimizers. So we're, so we're just going to get in here. There's, there's not too much to sort of uh, display, but uh, we make a model. We can make it with all sorts of crazy complex layers. Okay, we then um, want to compile our model, and we want to have it trained in a very specific way. And there's lots of ways to train a model. Um, the uh, important thing to note is that. Um, uh, is that uh, to figure out how to how to train these models? Check out the optimizers. So Keras the optimizers. So we can go ahead. We can go Keras does optimizers. We find the optimizer that we want. The SGD, whatever this magic mumbo jumbo is, stochastic gradient descent. Um, we specify lots of hyperparameters for it, and then we we pass it in. So optimizer equals SGD. So. Uh, you, you can always just go ahead and do the sort of normal thing. This is generally what I'll do unless I'm fine tuning it. So you just pass in the optimizer by the name, so SGD. So this, this does the exact same thing. Um, all optimizers have a couple of very common parameters. I'm not going to be going into all these optimizers ex except for in deep learning, the history of deep learning. I'm probably going to be going over a couple of these. Uh, SGD, stochastic gradient descent, very much so. Uh, Atom, maybe. Momentum, very much so. RMS prop, maybe. We'll see. Um, these are like incredibly important and like generally good to know stuff, regardless of what type of learning you're trying to do. Um, okay. So uh, some things that, that a lot of optimizers have, a lot of optimizers have a learning rate. Um, so the learning rate is, uh, it's basically like how fast it trains. Um, it's important to sort of optimize this because going too fast can mean you can overshoot your destination. Going too slow means it's going to take forever to get there. Um, Clip norm. So, so what this specifically means is, that, let's say you've, you've got a you've got a gradient. Um, you, you don't want the gradient to see it too big. So sometimes you want like a very very steep plateau, and the gradient here is like incredible. It's like man, you should go really far to get to get there. Um, uh, so so you want you want to clip the norms here. You don't want it to go too far. So so you'll go ahead. You'll learn a specific rate, but. But you're you're gonna have to you're gonna have to slow down if you go too fast. Um, so those are two things. Uh, th these these are these are common to all sort of optimizers, um, and you can you can even use TensorFlow optimizers as well. So you can use optimizers TF optimizer. Um, uh, this this is uh, the TF optimizer will take a TensorFlow optimizer and will uh, wrap it, and you can give it the proximal gradient descent optimizer, something like that. So that's that's optimizers. Um, again, I'm sorry, we're only learning a teeny tiny bit of deep learning here, so I'm not going to be going over exactly what these things mean. Uh, but just, just the, the high level thing, you can give your model lots of optimizers, you can read about them uh, and go figure out which one you like best or will work best with your application. Optimizers are the way that you learn, they're the way that you train. All optimizers have a learning rate and a clip norm. The learning rate is the speed at which you learn. Clip norm is the max speed at which you can learn at a, at a particular step. Um, so, okay, that's optimizers. Uh, the other thing that so there's two more things in the compilation function. We've got loss functions and we've got metrics. So loss functions are here. So loss functions need to be minimized. <laughs> Remember, so this is your training to minimize this loss function. Um, so it needs to be minimized. Uh, so for example, you can use all sorts of ones. Mean squared error is one of them. You can also look at the losses and, and pick out the particular function that you want. Um, some of these, and, and you can you can even just include uh, anything that takes a y true and a y pred and spits back a loss, you can include that. So the TFNN log Poisson loss is, is one example of something that you could spit in here. So a loss, this is what you want to optimize. So generally it is some sort of distance metric between what you output, what your model outputs, and the target. Uh, what your model should output. So, okay, and then uses your metrics. That was the last thing. Um, so metrics, any loss function can be a metric. Um, it's very simple. 
Um, you can, uh, anything that takes in a Y true and a Y pred and spits back a, a value is good. Uh, so metrics can be even be uh, getting more positive as, as things get better. Um, you can, of course, make your own. So for example, you can have the mean uh, prediction, um, which is like somewhat weird. It's like you, you don't even look at the, the true value. You just spit out what you, what you think is the, the normal value. So, so that's it. It's, it's pretty short. It's pretty short. And the reason why it's short is because we're only learning a teeny tiny bit of deep learning. Uh, I guess what's important to remember here is that optimizers, there's a lot of them. You can pick anything that you want. They all have the learning rate and they all have the clip norm. Loss functions, it's sort of a distance metric between the, the, the true value and the, and the predicted value. Um, and you're trying to minimize it. You're always trying to minimize it. And then metrics, it's just anything. You just spit it out. <laughs> it's just, okay. Uh, I hope this was useful. You guys now know the nitty gritty on both uh, layers and uh, models. Um, we're we're going to be getting into a lot more fun stuff now uh, that we have this done. I think we're probably going to be moving into um, we might be moving into pre-processing. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't already, if you have enjoyed these videos uh, to to any extent, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, there's only going to be more fun to come. Uh, we're covering the technical nitty-gritty stuff. Um, I, I sort of uh, treat this as, uh, as sort of a, a catechism uh, that, that we can go back and refer to as, we, as we, when we go over the more intuitive stuff later on. Uh, but I, th I think I'll probably just do another video on, on this as well, just sort of a directional, high-level directional video. Okay, thank you. Uh, and as always, it's always a pleasure.